Howdy, B. Anyhow, we're on our way again. But before we do anything, man, we have to thank God for traveling mercies and for how he's kept us all these times and years. Because a lot of people, y'all just don't know. A lot of times you get protected and don't even know it. You know, stuff go past you that you don't even know, you know? And well, I guess you don't know. So, we should be thankful for the things that we get protected against, the things that we see, the things that we don't see. So that's to start us off with. But we're on our way now to take Zay to work. And um, it's another hot day. I guess it's about 80 something degrees for us, that's hot. If you was in Texas, it wouldn't be hot, it'd be a cool day. So it's all perspective. You know where you are but sometimes man you know and we're in the northwest you know east uh, north where we at north north northwest yeah yeah northwest which you start calling the midwest i never understood that though because it's more on the corner but chicago is considered the midwest we're close to chicago You know, man, I was talking to somebody else similar to what we were talking about as far as parents mm -hmm. and, and children relationship. And sometimes people think, well, I'm supposed to always be the parent. My mother was like that. Well, you're always going to be the parent, but you're not always going to be parenting. So there's a difference. You know, you, you're going to always be the person's parent, mm -hmm. but you're not going to always be parenting them at some point. You're just going to be dealing with them in their life because they're going to be making their own decisions how they want to, and you're not going to be enough to make decisions for them. So you're not going to be parenting them. All you would think you're going to be doing is nagging and, and being overbearing and being out of pocket because you're trying to get in other people's affairs. You know, what I look like trying to tell you and how you and how your woman, how y'all deal with anything. You know, you got to deal with things the way you know. Now, if you come and ask me something and I got the information, I give it to you if I got it. Right. You know, I try to because we try to help people. We all want to help each other out, you know. And, and you know, some things are kind of hectic in life, man, and especially when you're just getting started. You're young. You don't understand a lot of stuff. And finances is one thing young, a lot of young people don't get. You should be saving all your money when you're young so when you get older, because you're like, <laughs> me and this older guy was talking yesterday, and he was saying, you know what's crazy, buddy? He said, they don't think they're going to get here. I'm saying, but if you keep living, you're going to get here. You keep living, you're going to get old. And and if you ain't prepared, man, you're going to have a problem. So, uh, anyhow, I think you get my point, my drift, my whatever. I know you know. Uh, you know you ain't supposed to really compare what you do with what other people do per se. But you know sometimes, man, I wonder how those guys got that damn good at being commentators. I mean, I know they do it. Well, that's probably how they got good at it. Well, you know, there must be there must be a course or school that teaches. I mean, I'm sure when they go to journalism school, that's where they learn a lot of that stuff. I would think how to set certain things up, um, how to approach questions, and how to follow up. It all really starts in a uh, speech class. Yeah, you go to speech class from middle school to high school to college, and it all varies because you have lectures have to give give lectures as well as seminars and stuff so they teach you your basics as far as being able to talk to multiple people and hold information mm -hmm. that is yeah man but, you know it's nothing like actually being in the field doing it yeah. that's actually that's the real experience that's what you're going to be doing so you got to feel it out and see if you're ready for it or comfortable with it at least 
you know, we used to call that practical applications, meaning that you had to do it to know it, even though you can study it. Because I've learned from just watching different people do their show that there's definitely, definitely certain protocols that you're supposed to take. Um, when you're asking questions, you follow up what you don't want a person to do a question, whatever their last answer was. So a lot of times people will follow up with a question with that. But the main thing is, is to have your stuff together and written down how you want to conduct your conversation because it can get out of hand. And so a lot of times, just like when I watch these guys, some of them guys you can tell is reading teleprompters, which means people are giving them information uh, while they're talking. Because I noticed uh, that that's another part of what we need. You know, you need somebody that that's filling in your blanks. And they got people sitting there typing that stuff in and telling them what to say. Like, if, like when the questions, something come up on a debate, they, they got some responses to it. You go like Some one, go over there, slap inside the head. <laughs> you know that yeah. kind of stuff. They got a few different responses that they can give. Yeah. And as they get good at reading, you can't tell as much, you know, because they learn to to glance across and read a certain amount. But anyways, it's all good, you know. May not be enough to do that as of yet, but we do what we do. We do what we do. You can go ahead and cut that off, bro. Hmm? Yeah.